take a lap around. of the red snapper we got a few days ago. It was um, just a little quick trip. We were really just going out, get our limit, come back because we like to load up on meat and keep it saved. We give it away to friends. We eat it throughout the week. So now I'm going to bring y'all in my kitchen, which I need to clean real quick and cook it for you guys. It's still pretty early. Well, not really. We were up super late last night frogging. <laughs> Stay tuned for that video next week. That's a hilarious video. It's gonna be really good. You're gonna love it, I think. So, um, yeah, I kinda slept in today. We were up to like 2 a.m. last night. So, I need to clean. Ooh, don't look at it. I need to do some dishes, do some cleaning real quick. And I need to go get an egg. Let's go get an egg, a couple eggs. Let's go see what we got over there. All right, so I'm back in the kitchen. I changed, got my workout done. I took a shower. I cleaned the kitchen. Everything's good, we're ready to go, but it's raining outside like really bad. So my lighting in here is probably not as beautiful as I would like it to be, but we're gonna make it work for today. Uh, put the ingredients all on the screen and I will make sure to put everything in the description box below so you can go down there and follow along, get yourself set up and ready to go. <laughs> My red snapper here you can see we typically write the, the type of fish and the date on it with a permanent marker if you look in our freezer I got some red snapper here I got these really cool like neon labels and then I rinse it with water just to like refresh it up you know I, I want to get all that like kind of blood and juice has been sitting in washed off Ooh, it's so pretty this meat is gorgeous just pat it dry. Oh, every time I fillet one, see you get some big scales on your hands when you're handling it with the skin still on it, but don't eat those. They're crunchy, but they have no flavor. It's beautiful meat. So I like to just uh, take the skin off just like how you normally would any fillet. Right there, all right. And then once you get your knife flat, I gotta poke a little hole in here for myself because I gotta have something to grab onto. Oh, I don't know if you can hear those, the ducks. All right, 
So, we got the skin off. Skin's off. Okay, let's check it out. You can see we got all this like dark red bloodline. I just trim all that off. Just cut off all the nasty parts. Cut that off. Cut a little bit off here. All right, so I'm gonna kind of cut it into chunks. So after I clean my fish up, I'm gonna see how much I got here, just for your... Okay, so 334 grams. Let's switch the unit on that. Almost 12 ounces of fish right here. Wow, that's a lot. I used about a, th a fourth a cup of each one of these, two eggs, you know, a pinch of salt, and then, you know, however much olive oil or, or any type of oil you wanna put in the pan. what you want your eggs to look like. So you're gonna dip each piece in the egg, then the flour, and then on the pan. What we gotta do now is turn our pan on about medium high heat. I'm so excited. My stupid stove is like crooked, so all the oil collects at the bottom right there, but we're gonna just keep sw swirling it around. Here is the pieces of fish we got right here. Let's put our first one on. And it should sizzle when, it, see, it's supposed to sizzle, but my thing's crooked, so. Put that one there. Ooh, cheese. Ooh. Swirling my oil around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Maybe. And you didn't want to be very careful with the breading. It scrapes off really easily, so you just gotta be really careful with it. And let these go a little bit longer because they're thicker. So I kind of got some really crusties, but I personally like that. I cut this one open to see if it was ready. It had a little bit longer to go, but almost done. Should be done by now. A little extra piece over here. Um, this one, probably also done. Whoops. See, it's falling apart. Ooh, it looks so good. This is it. Oh, the finished product. All right, let's taste it. Ooh, it smells so good and it's just so, oh wow. The red snapper meat is so tender and white. It's, it's so delicious. Mm. Mm. It's so simple, but really, I think using such strong flavored natural ingredients, like the lemon, oh my gosh, the lemon really just adds such like a refreshing kick. You gotta use a lot of lemon and lime too. Mmm, mmm, I'm telling you, if you all are recovering or coming out of your quarantine body <laughs> and you're trying to eat a little healthy but still delicious, this is your meal right here. Fish is fried or breaded or whatever you wanna call it. But it's really, we used uh, great alternatives to regular flour. 
We didn't use bad vegetable oil, we used a good oil. I'm gonna stop eating it. I really love the dressing with it too. Red snapper season's coming to a close on August 1st. No more red snapper, but we really enjoyed the red snapper season while it was open. Leave a comment below and let me know if you got some red snapper this season and what you made with it. I'd love to hear it. And give this video a like if you liked it. It really supports my channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I'd love to have you guys here. That's it, guys. That's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.